Uh, how did you get here? By car, bus, walking, or just like me flying from Morocco? But I mean, how did you really get to be on this planet? Okay, we say it's a small world, but once upon a time, so was the universe. How small was it? Like a galaxy, for example? No, smaller. Like a planet, a house, a ball? It was much smaller. It was less than a microscopic dot before the Big Bang took place. But before talking about this, bear in mind that the whole universe, your hand, this balloon, the air, the moon, simply everything, everywhere, is entirely made up of atoms. You know, electrons hanging out around the nucleus. Now buckle up. I'm going to take you on a trip. Destination, the past. We're back about 14 billion years. There's absolutely nothing. But that doesn't yet exist. Except this microscopic dot of mysterious energy where temperature and pressure are unlimited. Suddenly, for totally unknown reasons, the Big Bang, this massive implosion. And from this time, the universe will be in a permanent state of expansion. A hundred of milliseconds later, universe has volume now. Matter appears, but nothing big. Only electrons and quarks, the basic ingredients for any universe. OK, take quarks in trees, cover, and leave for three minutes. You'll find protons and neutrons that make nuclei. Add a handful of electrons and stir. Now the recipe slows down. Leave for 380 million years. Why the universe keep growing? Oh, stand back, uncover, and voila! First atoms, hydrogen and helium. Great, big deal. Where are stars and planets? Where's Shetnam? Where are you and me? <laughs> Patience. Hydrogen and helium get to work over a billion years. They build a huge energy factory, also known as a first generation star, where they churn out thermonuclear reactions. Essentially, they are the Adam and Eve of elements. Through their half thermonuclear reactions, they beget carbon, which begets nitrogen, which begets oxygen, which begets, which begets, which begets the whole family of elements. Now, we've got real matter as we know it today. Over 99% of this original matter forms a second-generation star, such as the Sun, which leaves less than 1% for the rest of the system. <laughs> Mars, Venus, Pluto, meteorites, and Earth. This miracle planet where conditions were just right for the development of life. Life, ladies and gentlemen, appeared 4 billion years ago, while mankind appears only 100,000 years ago. The rest of the story you know, and this is how all of us got here today. Thank you. I'm sorry for the noise I made. <laughs> um, bearing in mind that we only have two minutes, could you just tell me, how did the, the Big Bang, you know, how did it start? <laughs> it's, you know, as a biologist, it's always slightly confused me. OK. As you know, uh, this was the, actually the first question that uh, scientists and uh, men uh, asked. It's, how did we get here? But uh, it's also the last question to answer it. Till now, we don't have uh, exact uh, reasons why the, the Big Bang took place. All we know is uh, that in one of, uh, in one of the, the time, uh, we had an implosion that uh, appeared uh, elementary elements like Nipson and others. And then we had, by gravity, uh, 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 protons, neutrons that made nuclei, which attracts electrons. One electron is hydrogen, then helium by, attraction, by uh, gravitation and uh, thermonuclear. And then we ended up with then, George. Then, <laughs> then we had the all uh, elements. OK, we don't have much time, but I just want to ask you this question. Uh, there's many people in cosmology that believe that there was time before the Big Bang. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, actually, if uh, someone uh, had uh, Pris's uh, idea about this, I would like to, to hear about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, all I know is uh, from the Big Bang to now. After, uh, before this, I don't have no idea. I would like to, to, to get some information about that. Okay. Yeah. Adnan Kasbah, thank, thank you. you.